Hi guys, it has been a really long time and if you hear snoring, again, that is my dog. <laughs> uh, this has been probably the longest hiatus I've had in, in terms of, you know, not making a video in the last five years. So update with me, I am almost done school. I've finished my classes. Um, I've had a couple of my exams already. Uh, I have a over a dozen assignments that I need to complete over the summer before I take my board exam. But because I'm not rushing back and forth to class and practicum and everything, I will hopefully have enough time to do at least one video per week from now on. Uh, after this, I will be a registered nutritionist, uh, but a little bit more on that later because I want to make some other announcements first. I want to let everybody know that even though I might be launching a new business, I'm not going to give up corsetry. I still have a lot of passion uh, for corsetry, especially therapeutic corsetry. Um, speaking of corsets, because this is my corset channel. This weekend, a new range of nude corsets uh, for several different skin tones, several different complexions is finally available through Timeless Trends and also available on my online shop as well. So this is something I have waited for, I'm not kidding, years. <laughs> um, from two or three years ago, I wanted something um, that was not just beige and not just a really dark brown. I have a medium skin tone and I found it kind of frustrating that if I wanted to do a cosplay, say for uh, Princess Jasmine, and I didn't want to show my bare belly, she has a like, very tiny waist, if you remember from the, from the cartoon. Um, if I wanted to wear a corset like that and pretend that the corset itself was, you know, a nude skin tone, I couldn't really do that with, with my complexion. And I know that a lot of women of color purchased through my shop because they want to support one woman businesses. And it was kind of embarrassing that I didn't have a large range of, say, nude colored corsets to really offer them. Thomas Trends does have a lot of brown colored corsets, probably more than um, any other brand out there, but it was more steampunk style and not really meant for um, wearing under clothing or specifically meant to be a nude corset per se. So last summer, um, June 2015, when Sarah and I were redesigning the corsets to make the hourglass line in Thailand, I pitched the idea to Jim, the owner of Timeless Trends, um, of having at least three different shades of nude and, uh, you know, just covering a little bit more of the market in that sense, because that is becoming especially important uh, with different um, underwear or lingerie lines, like Nubian Skin is doing that as well. And corsets were really falling behind on that sort of thing. So um, we thought about doing a small range of different nude shades for the Gemini corset and there was really just not enough time to source the fabric properly because um, we were at the fabric market for only one morning out of the entire time that we were there and that was just not enough time to search through everything. So Timeless Trends invited me back to Thailand in January but because I was in school I wasn't able to go but I nominated Amber of Lovely Rats and Loana of Vanyanis to go instead and they did an amazing job sourcing the different nude fabrics and they also made about I, I think over 80 different new designs, some of which that have never been seen before in um, off the rack uh, corset company before. So it's not going to be new patterns per se. It's actually just going to be um, new fashion fabrics and new colorways and, and things like that. But the, the nude styles are going to be released slowly over the next, um, I guess, year or so in, in batches. And the first one that they decided to do is the, the nude shades. Like that was top priority. So they did a fantastic job. I think they really surpassed everybody's expectations. So I have a lot to thank them for. But speaking of the Gemini corsets, Unfortunately, they will not be out for some time. I am not entirely sure what happened, but I was rushing in December to try and get the patterns finalized after they had been tested and everything, so that uh, what I was told was they would be put into production around March and then launched by May or June, which would have been perfect because the actual line is called the Gemini line and it would have been released in the month of Gemini. Now, that's not the reason that we called it the Gemini. It, it's going to be available in two different silhouettes, um, the straight or the conical ribs silhouette and then the cupped or rounded rib silhouette so people can choose which silhouette they want based on their comfort level and their aesthetic preference. Uh, but the production of the Gemini have been put on the back burner and I think they are they have just been put in production now. So we may not get them until September, I'm guessing. Um, still better late than never, even though I'm sort of a little bit disappointed about the timeline of it. Um, I think that it was really good of them to push the different shades of nude out there and get them 
available uh, to people, especially now with all the conventions um, right now this summer. And the Gemini will come a little bit later, but you know, it is coming, so better late than never. Another thing that I wanted to announce is just this past week, this channel reached 85,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so, so much. I have so much to be grateful for right now. Um, to celebrate this milestone and to celebrate the new nude range coming out with Timeless Trends, I'm gonna be giving away five Timeless Trends corsets to my subscribers. And you don't necessarily have to choose any of the new nude pieces. It can be any any part of the, the collection, anything available from my online shop, um, just with the exception of the leather pieces. Um, but all you have to do is be a subscriber, leave me the absolute cheesiest joke you know in the comments below, and I will pick five people at random next week. <laughs> So back to the nutrition thing, uh, I will be able to incorporate my nutrition with what I'm doing now. So when I resume the corset consultations, I will also be able to do nutritional consultations um, either with the corset consultation or uh, completely separate to it. And what I really want to do eventually is um, focus on women with abdominal obesity because these are the women who are drawn to corsets in the first place. Uh, but what I want to go into are uh, what are the hormonal and the physiological causes behind abdominal obesity, especially in women, what people can do in terms of their nutrition and their exercise and their lifestyle to be able to combat it because abdominal obesity is tied to different things like um, cardiovascular disease. And I'm not talking about exercise spot reduction because, you know, I, I personally don't really believe in that. But um, it is very well known and documented that cortisol imbalance can contribute to abdominal obesity and specifically um, the HSD enzyme that is present in visceral fat, the fat in between your organs that is in your abdomen, they can convert inactive cortisone into active cortisol locally and create more fat production in the abdomen. And it is this abdominal fat that is more dangerous, you know, uh, putting more fat onto the bust or the hips or whatnot, that is not as dangerous as visceral fat. So not only is there the health incentive to be able to combat this, but for somebody who is trying to waste strain and somebody who does consider them a lifestyle corseter, um, building abdominal fat through stress and through um, diet and lifestyle choices is directly working against what you're trying to do in terms of waist training. So I've said for years that yes, waist training can work. It does work for many people, but it is never a replacement for proper nutrition and physical activity. And um, if you are looking to waist train, then it is in your best interest to tweak your lifestyle in a way that optimizes your health and works with your waist training as opposed to working directly against it. And if all of this is going over your head, you know, don't worry. I actually plan to write a mini ebook about this uh, in the upcoming year. It's not going to be as huge of a project as the Solist one was because that took so much of my time working with over a hundred people. So in this mini ebook, I plan to go into not only cortisol imbalance, but other hormonal imbalances, gut health, preventing bloating, exercises for diastasis recti, uh, a lot more. There are a ton of different issues that can go into um, contributing to bloating, abdominal, obesity, um, anything that causes the abdomen to expand in a way that um, many women who are gravitating towards corsets, you know, they, they don't really like. I know that there are already quite a few hourglass diets out there, but I plan to go into the hard science with this one. And speaking of ebooks, uh, my first one, Solist, it's still available, still exclusively through Amazon. So if you are seeing it being sold anywhere else or promoted um, elsewhere outside of Amazon, please let me know because that means it's been bootlegged. Um, I, I'm, I'm not getting any credit for that. Uh, that's illegal. So please let me know if that's if you, if you see it anywhere apart from Amazon. Um, I do not think I'm going to be keeping it in Kindle Select. Uh, forever. So if you have Kindle Unlimited, I suggest that you get the book like within the next couple of weeks or so because um, I might be pulling it out of KDB Select. But I'm currently talking to a designer uh, regarding the layout of the paperback version of Solist. That will be out before the holidays for sure. Uh, I'm really excited to get that because there's nothing quite like holding a book in your hands as a reader and as like a first-time author in my case. So I am really looking forward to this project as well. 
I think I'll also be changing the cover art for the paperback version of the book uh, as a few people have commented on the ebook cover art and said that it looked like a bloody corset. That was definitely not the intention. Uh, I guess some people see what they want to see. But if some of you have some suggestions in terms of sourcing um, cover art for the paperback version, I would love to know. So please leave me a comment down below. Um, and I think I'm going to leave it at that. This video is probably already really long. So good luck to those of you who are entering the the five timeless trends corset giveaway and i will see you all next week bye